Hey guys, I wanted to talk today about Affinity Photo. Affinity Photo is a photo vector illustrator application for iPad. Um, I'm really excited to have this here. It started off as a Mac application, and now that it's on the iPad, I can honestly say this may be the most professional application on the iPad right now. It is crazy with the stuff that you can do with this application, and I'm really excited about it. Um, I do want to give a couple disclaimers right up front. So first off, I am running iOS 11 beta 2 on this iPad. So I've had some performance issues with the app. It just memory crashes and things like that. So if something happens or kind of goes a little wonky during this video, I don't want it to reflect on the application. It's the fact I'm running iOS 11 beta 2 on it. Um, the other thing, I'm not a graphic designer or illustrator or anything like that. So I'm not going to go into the crazy detail some of the other people may go into. I want to do an overview, and then if you guys really want the detail and stuff like that, let me know in the comments below, and I will do a full in-depth review on the application, and we'll really dive into it and absolutely just go nuts on it. But first off, how I've been learning how to use the application is I bought it, and right now, I, I'd like to point out, it is on sale right now. So if you're interested in the application, it's $20 right now. I believe that it's 30% off, so I highly recommend you go do it and just go purchase the application. How I've been learning uh, Affinity Photo is I've been using this tutorials right here. These have been put together by the developer, so honestly, the person that knows the application the best, and just go through and learn them. They have a five minute video just on opening and saving. They really cover everything in this application. And that's really exciting. I'm, I'm really ha I'm really excited about that. So I, I recommend everyone go through these first as soon as you get the application. The next thing that's really been handy is samples. They put in a few pre-made documents that you can kind of go through and tweak and kind of see how their layers and lighting and all that stuff is working. Um, you can kind of see here, I've been playing around with some stuff. I've just been scribbling and using some effects and stuff like that. But let, let's do this. We're going to create a new document. And we're just going to start from scratch. We're just going to do new document. We're going to do uh, we're going to do something for the web. And we're going to do it at the highest resolution possible. Um, you can go higher, but that's the highest preset. So here's our blank canvas. I'm going to shrink it down. You can use pinch and zoom and, and to shrink and enlarge. So I'm going to shrink it down a little bit. And first off, there's um, all the typical tools you would expect to see from Photoshop are right here. So we're going to pick the brush tool. And what's nice is you can turn off the um, pressure sensitivity for the Apple Pencil. This app really does take advantage of the Apple Pencil. So if you're an Apple Pencil fan, I highly recommend, again, just check it out. It's really great just to play around with. Um, we can come up here to our color wheel and I want a orange color and you can always go into swatches, swatches and you can change the noise and the opacity and things like that. We'll just leave that how it is and we'll just say hello right now. So that's kind of it. You can kind of see um, just where you hit the Apple Pencil, it, it really works. So I'm going to kind of just scribble some stuff. Let's change the color wheel, and we can kind of just do all sorts of crazy stuff. You can kind of see as I kind of go around, the, the side stuff goes away. So if you're just sketching and you just want to sketch, all that stuff will dynamically go away. Um, you can come down here to, to paint brushes and other brushes. What's really cool about this is you can import brushes from Photoshop. So if you have custom brushes you really, really like, um, you can really just kind of, you can import those and it's really handy to have. So you can just pick this guy and, you know, it's, it's all there. And there's all sorts of different ones. There's, there's drawing and spray paints and textures. Oh, I was looking for these the other day, um, which is really cool. Now I've spent about a week with this application. I don't think I, actually, I don't, not that I don't think, I know I haven't been able to go through everything. So that's why I'm kind of doing like a brief overview and stuff like that. So um, there's also adjustment layers and filters and layer effects. So there's so much stuff to this application. You can change text type, there's history and navigator. Um, if you, if it's a photo, you can get the histogram and the metadata. It's it's really all really super awesome and super interest, interesting. Um, down here, you can change the your brush, your brush settings. So we can 
turn up kind of we can tap the flow and the hardness and really change how the brush looks so that's really my brief brief overview of affinity photo there's so much more to this application and i i'm not sure if you want to hear more or not leave a comment in the below and kind of let me know and i'll, I'll real, i will go into an in-depth review if that's something you guys would be interested in um also, if there's any more applications you want to hear about or learn about, let me know, and I'd love to check them out and make a video about them. Um, I'm going to put a link to Affinity Photo in the description below, so feel free to click that and go through that link. And um, thanks for watching, guys. Have a nice day.